In this simple tutorial, we will discuss how to conduct non-linear ARDL using Stata. The first step is to download the Stata code from Greenwood Nemo website and the article that we usually cite for NARDL is by Shane Inar. And uh, the exposition and the discussion about NARDL in this article is very clear and the empirical example is very clear one. So we can read to understand why and when to use NARDL here. So once we are clear with the, the case and justification for NARDL, we can download the Stata code from here. We just click on the multipliers, we then follow this window and we will get uh, the code in a zip file that we have to extract to the Stata folder on our computer so we can use that code like a built-in code in Stata and uh, that we can definitely go to the C drive where Stata is actually there and maybe we can put it in the general ADO folder here or to the built-in Stata folder and there in that folder the ADO folder will be the location and in this folder you have to locate the relevant prefix that is n because n a r d l the code is starting with n so we will have to locate the folder with n it is here and then you have to unzip these files to that folder so once it is done we will be able to run any rdl on our data very easily so now it is extracted so let's go to stata I can begin with reading the help file, just type NARDL and we have this extra examples, discussion and so on how to use it. So this is exactly the simple code that we can use to start up. So these are the variables, you have to define your dependent variable, independent variable and so on. So let's say we have to clear the data set to bring a time series data into analysis and TS edit so it is a time series setting and uh, now we can uh, use the code for NARDL so we can just define the dependent variable and independent variable and uh, similarly a few of the variables in our model and we have to specify the legs so let's begin with three three legs and the deterministic variable we can include like uh, GDP or industry value added culture value added and manufacturer value added so let's say for example this is um, so we have almost 35 years data so we would extend that uh, to 35 and we want to save the residuals even so let's have what the results are coming up we can see that NERDL is uh, estimated and we have the positive and negative coefficients on the given variables and that will be very really interesting so the basic interpretation will be exactly in the long run the short run for example a positive change in x that is the independent variable affects a positive change in y and similarly a negative change in x results in a negative change in y so we can decompose the x and y variables into positive multipliers and negative multipliers and we can conduct further causality tests even there so this is basically the symmetric statistics that we have to report with corresponding with the p values you can see that every statistic with a trade gdp and saving exogenity and similarly the long run effects are given here and the symmetry is also given at the bottom of the test Thank you very much.